much, Sister um, Jocelyn. Very good, um, very well detailed presentation. Sadly, our time is not very friendly, so somehow you had to rush through mm -hmm. what you wanted to tell mm -hmm. us all about it. But I'm sure people will have more during the question time. Um, I would like just to add a little bit um, on specific age group um, um, of, of, of life. Um, kwa hiyo kina mama ambao wanasikiza kwa Kiswahili mimi ningependelea tu kumshukuru Sister Jocelyn kwa presentation yake ambayo ilikuwa ni ya um, kwa undani zaidi lakini tu muda umekuwa mfupi ndio maana tumeweza ku, kuweza kupita haraka ila tutafanua zaidi katika maswali sasa mimi ningependa kuongelea kwa kifupi nisipate kuchukua muda wenu mwingi wa maswali kuhusu contraception ni katika age ambayo uh, juu ya miaka 40 um, kwa sababu katika eji hii wa kina mama wengi huo wanafikiria kwamba ndio mambo ya mpisha tena kwa hivyo wanakuwa aidha wanakuwa free au wengine wanakuwa wanaogopa kutumia contraception kwa sababu wanafikiria inaweza kusababisha madhara au um, wanaona kwamba chance ya conceive imepungua um, so the contraception is still recommended to use until the age of 55 just as in summary so until when you are 55 you are recommended, strongly recommended to use contraception. And the reason is after 55, the chance of getting pregnant is very, very small. That's why it's recommended to use it up to 55. If you find the contraception is more beneficial for you to use for non-contraceptive benefits, obviously you can still carry on after 55. Mm. <laughs> kwamba matakiwa muendelee kutumia contraception mpaka 50 mpaka ukiwa na miaka 55 sasa when we say contraception it doesn't necessarily have to be a medical hormonal contraception it's just you need to use something whatever you call in your own way of being careful uh, whether being careful by using medical hormonal methods or you can still use medical non hormonal method and you can still use your other natural way that you are used to be using. What we are trying to say is don't just let yourself when think, things are done. Um, kwa hivyo, unazwa katumia njia yoyote ambayo unaamini, unazwa katumia homono method ambayo zinatulio hospitali, unazwa katumia njia ambayo zinatulio hospitali lakini they are not homono method, kama alivueleza Sister Jocelyn, au unazwa katumia njia zako zenye za zaki, zaki, kawai, zaki um, natural, nijisene edien the, the key, key asilia. Um, lakini, one thing you have to know, the natural method are not as effective as you are growing older. So that's one thing that you need to be careful. Natural method are not as careful as you are growing older. And for the reasons, uh, obviously, when you're growing older, your circle is getting more irregular. Your ovulation is getting more unpredictable. Therefore, you won't be able to predict when to, to follow your cycle. This is for those who are following the natural rhythm. And also for those who use things like withdrawal methods, again, you have to think of your partner as well. And as you're growing older, things may not be as how they used to be. We know some men, as they're growing older, they experience some sort of sexual dysfunction as well. So it may be as well too late to do the withdrawal method that you used to do, or it may not be possible to use the condoms as well for obvious reasons. So those methods may, may not be applicable to you anymore as you are growing old. Kwa hivyo njia ambazo za asili ambazo tumezuwa kuzitumia kama wakina wama wengine siyo wezu kusema neno laki kwa kiswahili, njia za kawaida, mtakuwa mna nyelewa, wana ambuwa natumia njia za kawaida, zinaanza kuwa hazifai tena tunawezidi kukua wakubwa kwa sababu mbali mbali kwa mba na wanze tupia wanapokuwa wakubwa na wana matatizo yao mingini ya na wakabili kwa hivyo zile njia zinaanza kuwa hazifai na vile vile mzungu kwa wetu wa wasiku zetu wa hezi unabadilika tunawezidi kuwa wakubwa baada ya miaka rubaini na yongelea na another reason is when we are growing older about 40 we, we have other medical conditions they come along as we are, grow, we are growing older so Things like breast cancer become much more prevalent as we are growing older. Things like um, heart conditions, stroke, um, high blood pressure, clot formation in legs and lungs, all these things, they increase. Putting on weight, that's another thing as well. 
all these things that come along with age. Therefore, some of the hormonal contraception may not be applicable to you as you're going older. So you may find when you're growing, you need to change what you're using when you're younger. You need to use more friendly according to your risk factors and according to your age. Kwa hivyo, tunavyokuwa, kuna magonjwa ya nakuja pia, magonjwa kama ya moyo, magonjwa ya stroke, au wanaita kia rusu, kwa hili. Um, magonjwa mgandicho wa adamu, kwenye mishipa adamu, gandamu wa adamu kwenye mishipa, um, kuongezeka kwa uzito, tunakuwa watu tuna kwa wanene, kutokana na umbi, atu tifanya mazoezi vizuri, um, magonjwa kama ya kansa ya matiti pia, na ungezeka sana kutokana na umbi, wala kuendelea. Kwa hivyo, kuna mda ambazo tukua tunatumia, za kontrasi yetu, ndivu kuwa wadogo, tunatakiwa zibadilishwe, tunavuzidi kuenda tunakuwa. Kwa hivyo, kama ulikuwa natumia dawa flani, unapokuwa umesha pitia, umepitiza baada ya miaka rubaini, unatakiwa uonane na mtaalamu wako, ili ya kukagwe dawa zako kama uko sawa uendelee nazo au zibadilishwe kupewa dawa ambazo zinakufaa um kwa hivyo in summary all other methods that sister Jocelyn have spoken they are all applicable to be used after 40 you can use more or less all of this of them except you need to be seen by a healthcare profession to assess whether they are suitable for you or not so you cannot just decide, or oh, it's not as some, somebody has used this, it works out, let me just do the same thing. You need to be assessed according to your individual risk. Kwa hivyo, mjia zote za mbaza mejiongelea sister Jocelyn, zote na zekatumika mpaka umbi wa miaka hamsini. Ndiyo mara nyingi, tunashauri kwamba, especially bitu kama um, easy hormone combined pills, kutokana na umbi peke yake, ndio hastaki kutumika baada ya miaka hamsini. Lakini majority of the rest, can be used, but with individual assessment. Kwa hivyo, natakiwa wendo kakaguliwe na na mtalamu wako. Akiona kamba hiyo, una, una risk ambazo vitu ambazo vimejitokeza kwa hivyo vinakoka wewe katika asari ya kustumia, atakubadidishia na kupeda ambazo zinakufaa kutokana na umbi wako na kutokana na matatizo ya liyo tokea. Um, kitu kisha mwisho ambacho nigependa kusisitiza kwamba dawa nyingi za contraception zina faida nyingi zaidi ya za faida ya contraception especially tunapozidi kukua baada ya miaka 40 na faida zake kwa sababu usuri tunazijua tunapozidi kukua baada ya miaka 40 mizungu kwetu ya hedhi inabadilika inakuwa damu inakuwa kwa wingi inakuwa inakuwa kwa muda mrefu kwa hivyo unapotumia hizi dawa za contraception kama daktari wako ameona unafaa kuzitumia zitakusaidia katika ku control um mzungu wa kwa hedhi zitasaidia kupunguza wingi wa damu hiyo ni faida kubwa ya mwanzo zitapunguza ule urefu kwamba zina siku ngapi zinaendelea hiyo ni faida ya pili pia zitapunguza maumivu kwa wale ambao wanakuwa na maumivu wakati wa period zao zina zinaondoa wengine kabisa period inaweza ika stop kabisa na maana kama ulikuwa na maumivu wakati wa period then una period then huna maumivu kwa hivyo itakusaidia katika maisha yako ya kila siku kama una watoto kama una kazini kama una shughuli za kufanya itakupa nafasi na zaidi ya kuendelea na maisha yako kama kawaida na um, another benefit is um it provide protection to your womb this is very important and i have to stress on this people get scared on contraception hormonal contraception they think it causes cancer to their womb it protects you from having cancer of the womb Okay, except for the um, copper coil, which doesn't have any hormones, the rest of contraceptive pills protects you from having cancer of the womb. Marena being the number one in providing the protection and very strongly recommended for women after 45, even after 50. That's the friend, our gynecology friend. Okay, and the other thing is it also protects you from the cancer of the ovaries um it does not protect it protects from cancer of the colon as um sister jocelyn said however people who have history of breast cancer or they have strong family history of cancer they may be at risk in using particular group of contraception especially the one with estrogen so they need to speak with their healthcare provider so they can have appropriate option choice for them um other thing is if you use contraception, it does not stop you from going into menopause at the age that you were planned, you were programmed to go. Whatever contraception, high kuziwi we we kuingia menopause katika umbi ambao uliopangi wa uta ingia menopause kama uliopangi ila tu itakusaidia usipati zile symptoms za menopause 
kama wanapopata wengine ambao hawatumii hormones especially kama unatumia combined hormones unaweza kupata light transition from the reproductive age to menopause age kwa hivyo vidonge vya majira vitakusaidia kupunguzia ule usumbufu wa kutoka kwenye wakati wa kupata period kuingia kwenye wakati wa kukoma zitakupa ile transition rise lakini hazikukatazi wewe kwenda menopause kwa mama wa western world ambao wana chance ya kutumia HRT which we call is hormonal replacement therapy this is the treatment which we give menopausal women and to help with their menopausal symptoms most of this we'll talk in the coming weeks about menopause some of the symptoms are very stressful symptoms they change in people's life you become a, a bit different even to your family members you become emotional you become angry you become not the normal women or mom, mama who they used to know kwa hivyo those who use hrt sometimes you can still use hrt with contraception hrt is not contraceptive if you have not come to the age of saying that you cannot get pregnant and we know menopause is the diagnosis of retrospect na maana tuna you diagnose menopause backwards unless you get through a period of time then someone could will tell you you are in menopause otherwise you cannot be told now you are in menopause before you reach one year without having period kwa hivyo um unaweza ukatumia any contraception na kama ukiona tumia vidonge vile vya kurudisha hormone baada ya kuingia menopause um nafikiri kwa kwa ufupi au kwa urefu <laughs> sina ufupi <laughs> ndio hayo tulitaka kuongezea naona um asante sana uh, shukran tutajibu mengine katika maswali asante sana thank you very much okay asante sana dr leila uh, dr leila hapo nadhani nyote mmemsikia vizuri na joycelyn kwa hiyo sasa we have a couple of questions so please uh, can you respond to them in both english and swahili uh Jocelyn, the first question i think can go to you it says for a person with regular periods which is the best contraception for 40 plus in your medical opinion i think dr leila mentioned something but please just respond to that <laughs> regular period um again it depend um with their circumstances if they want to go on the oh they are they are 40 years 40 plus yes any medical issue for a person with regular periods which is the best contraception for 40 plus in your medical opinion uh yeah. she didn't specify whether they have any medical issues but she just wants your opinion yes um again as dr leila said uh okay as far as i know from 35 onwards um we can give combined pill because due to um risk of divin thrombosis um heart attack and um or other medical issues so we do um suggest progestin only um uh, method or we can also if they want they can use um coil that doesn't have any hormones because if they are using the normal i mean if they are having a normal period is no heavy or anything then we suggest they go into the normal coil iud because they are 40 already so i wouldn't want to um any ku kuapatia um the pills we do suggest if they use um combined i mean um, coil Sister, I'm muted. Me? I'm muted. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Kumbe naongea peke yangu. Yeah. Okay, this is a question from the same person I said, is there a difference in brands of uh goja ni jaribu kuisoma hii mm. disogestrel pills? Yeah. I think I pronounced it correctly. Disogestrel ni pro, ni nile ya one hormone only. Na nini nyingine? the suggestion oh at the moment the suggestion jo iko inategemea na area inategemea na area but at the moment um kulikuwa kuna serazet the suggestion um na ipita na nyingine dr leila yeah 
But then at the moment, kama sisi in Northwest London, atuna serazet anymore, it is uh, disagestral. Is it is the same thing? Is the brand really? See, then, kama kutakuwa kuna difference in brands. It's just the name. The brands are just names. The brands, yeah. Like you are, these are usually Leila, but we are all female somehow. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's just the naming. That's all. Yeah, because when you when when you check them, the um content, the content is the same. No, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mwingine anaitwa Su Luhanga uh, she's asking I'm assuming it's a she I don't know why I said she's asking <laughs> is yeah, it normal yeah. to bleed for seven and more when you have mirena seven days yeah. I'm, I replied I replied to her that it depends if it's a new coil um it takes up to six months to settle but then it, it also depends it may be um yeah up to seven days yeah it depends it can stay up to seven uh, six months to settle or um i don't know if the doctor can explain further yeah that's that's right just lady yeah. it's, it's the first insertion it's yeah. normal to have irregular bleeding up to six months mm -hmm. and you shouldn't give up really within yeah. six months unless the bleeding is very heavy then you may be given something to calm it down but not to give up on it yeah. the other thing is to be careful if if you feel you are bleeding very heavily or it doesn't settle probably a doctor can arrange for you to have ultrasound because sometimes okay. if you're bleeding heavily it yeah. may not be there it may have been expelled out with heavy bleeding because how it may be pushed down so it may not be the work it's expected to do yeah. Um, so the thing that you may need to be assessed, but not necessarily that is abnormal. Yeah. However, if you have been taking it and then things start to become abnormal to have heavy bleed again, that need to be assessed for the same reasons. Either it may be down or it may be expelled or it may be having another problem, which the hormone does not really work on that problem that you're having. Okay, um, another question uh, from Saida. She's asking, from what age you recommend using pills? I replied uh, 16 years old. Um, Dr. Dr. Leila can continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I mean, pills can be used at any age when the girl is starting to get their period because um, it's used for different reasons. It's not always used for contraceptive purpose. It can be used to regulate their periods. It can be used if they're having a very painful period, which stops them from continuing with their school education or from their normal life. So, so long as the girl has their period, they can start to use pills. There's no any contra contraindication. It does not stop them from getting pregnant when they grow up. Mm -hmm. um, it does not make them to becoming more sexually active just because they're using them. Is more of the education to the parents and, and, the, and the child themselves. So it, it can be used. In fact, even, even the coil can be used to young ones as well. There are special coils which have been made specifically for young girls, which is a much smaller size. They're called JDs, much smaller size. And also they, they have less hormones in it. Because sometimes you have young girls who cannot go to school just because their period is either very heavy or is very painful. So we find this this may be a better option for them rather than continue with, um, I mean, miserable life really, which can affect them even mentally. Uh, uh, happy and Oliza, unaweza kuto kupata period zako kama una mirena coil. Yes, that's the very non effect of mirena. Mm -hmm. Remember, the marina purpose is to thin up, as Sister Jocelyn says, marina thin up your inner lining of the womb. That's how it works. So mm -hmm. basically, become hostile, you thin it down. Therefore, the purpose is to either reduce the period very, very, to very, very little or stop it altogether. Up to 80% of women who use marina, they don't get their period at all. That does not mean that you are in menopause. Not having period is not menopause. It's just that that inner lining, the, the lining which sheds out, is dried up. Therefore, you don't bleed. That is the effect with Marina. The other medication would work differently, it will stop ovulation and all that. So you'll not bleed. 
It doesn't mean that the blood gets inside your tummy and somehow people think the blood goes in there and get clotted somewhere and therefore it would affect your health, anything like that. No, it doesn't do anything like that. And that's why it's protective to your womb. That's why, because that womb does not grow, it protects it from getting cancer because it counteracts the effect of the other, the estrogen hormone. So you're much safer if you don't get your period with my radar. Okay, thank you very much. Any more questions? I know we've gone, um, we've taken a little bit more time, but we're okay if you have a couple more questions uh, because we started a little bit late. Everybody happy? Uh, can I say something? Yes, yes, Jocelyn. Was my, was my um, natural family planning slide there? I thought I had it. Um, I could just add something quick. Um, I know Dr. Dr. Leila has mentioned already about the um, natural family planning. Um, they do um, also have the advantages of, um, I'm looking for it. I saw it earlier and I said, oh, I must mention it. Um, Lost no worries, we have time. There's okay, another okay. question. Can I throw it while you're thinking about that one? Yeah. Yeah. I heard uh, it. Yeah. Uh, somebody's asking, while Joycelyn is uh, looking for a point, uh, Dr. Leila, somebody's asking, can you put on weight when using Mirena coil? <laughs> That's very unusual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you need to look on the other factors which has made you to put on weight. Um, marina coil is not known. That's not known side effect of marina. Then you should stop eating burgers, eh? Um, <laughs> probably stop being relaxed now you have your mind. <laughs> no, it doesn't cause weight gain. Ah. While Sister Jocelyn is looking for the natural contraception, can I just add something about sterilization as well? Yeah. Um, because you find some women, they when they get to certain age, especially after 35, 40, they're thinking of having sterilization. And sterilization is, is a good contraception because it just cuts everything. Therefore, you don't have the chance of contraception is nearly zero. Although we know there's a chance that you can still conceive up to 0.5% women can conceive and that is lifetime ch chance that you can what still get pregnant. What do you mean sterilization, mm -hmm. Dr. Leila? Sterilization oh, is oh. what, when we talk about um, when you are cutting your tubes or you're blocking the tube, the different ways of doing it is either you can block them, okay. uh, the fallopian tube, or you can cut them. There are different ways of doing that. So the most common way um, is doing surgically, going into your tummy and you go to the tube where you can put the clips around so that you block. That means you're blocking the entry of sperm through the uterus to go and meet where the ovaries is coming. So you block there. Or sometimes they can be cut, physically cut. If you do the cesarean section, for example, they get cut and so basically get separated. You can't conceive, right? You can't conceive, so you become sterile. That's why it's called sterilization, okay. so you cannot conceive at all. Mm. The other way we use in, in Europe nowadays, it can be done through hysteroscopy. That means it can be done through the front part, passage, where mm. they go, you go with camera inside, you have a look inside your womb, and then you put stuff to block where there is a um, connection between the tubes and, and the, the uterus. That again is sterilization, even if you don't have surgery through your tummy, but they can be blocked through the other way. Um, sterilization sterilization Kwa Europe, when I try, they try to open it up, but the success rate is very, very small. This is not done in any chest. If you want to get it reversed, you have to okay. do it privately. It not cover funded by NHS. No NHS hospital will agree to reverse, to re to reverse your sterilization. 
And if they reverse it again, when you get pregnant, more likely that pregnant will not go at the correct place. It means it will be ectopic. That means it will be plant outside the womb. Mm. Okay. So it's something very effective, but um, it, it, it's not a reversible procedure. Or oh, another word of sterilization, somebody have just asked, it's called tuba ligation, is the same thing. It's the same thing. Um, it was also sterilization. So some women, when they prefer this method, actually you may find your period becoming heavier because once you get sterilization, you stop to use all other methods, hormonal contraception. And therefore your period may be heavier and may, again, you may require to use those contraceptive methods that you didn't want to use when you wanted to have sterilization. So it's not the only option of contraceptive when you get beyond 40. You'd rather just continue with the other medical method, if, especially if you have irregular or heavy or painful period, any, any period problem, you'd rather go for hormonal treatment. Thank you very much, Dr. Leila, for that explanation. Uh, Jocelyn, uh, are you ready, Ukotari? Yeah, Nicola Sema, uh, nani, uh, natural family planning, in a chua, uh, Katia school, yeah, uh, uh, Seko Tatum Pacasita for it to be effective. Kosabu, any so come to an hour, okay, me from now, Basinafanya and Ani, Nafanya say, um, no more, uh, family planning, then I'll be okay. Just, I mean, just like that. No, you have to to do at least three to six cycle. Now, Pia, you have to jot a diary. Ili, unani, uangalia Pia, okay, um, this time, nefanya hivi, nefanya hivi, na Pia, inategemea ni kitu gani, you are, like, with the diet wise as well, um, doctor, is it? Is it with mm. the diet as well? I'm not sure. No? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, effective. Yeah. That's that. Okay. Mm. Asante sana. Um Asante sana nadhani hapa tunaweza kufunga kama kuna mtu japo ana swali moja la mwisho naweza kumpa dakika mbili. Mm. Asalamu Mimi na swali moja la zamani sana. Karibu, karibu. So I opted for a coil. Na mwanzo lipo kuenda kuweka coil, eh, yule gynecologist aliniambia, I don't advise you to, to use a coil kwa sababu inaweza kuleta shida, alafu usizai tena. Kama usually sisi hatuwa wekei watu coil kama mtu hajaza sana. Yani at least four children alafu ndo toweza kuweka yu coil. Yani akasema maneno mengi kuwa na zaidi ni kuwa sangine inaweza kuleta cancer ya kizazi. What about now? Asante, Asante, Aunt Najma. Um, kwa sasa hivi ni kama tulivoeleza hapo, um, coil in 70s, um, I'm not sure if Marena was already invented, invented then, but hata kama Marena has kuwepo, copper coil haijulikani kabisa hakuna any evidence of thibitisho wote kwamba copper coil ambayo ndio iko kwa miaka mingi inasababisha kansa ya kizazi. Kwa hivyo hakuna coil yoyote inayosababisha kansa ya kizazi. Ila tu ukitumia copper coil na kama period zako ziko heavy na prolonged haitokusaidia kwa sababu hizo period zako zitabaki hivyo kwa heavy na prolonged now, if you are prone to get cancer akizazi, you will still carry on and get cancer akizazi. But that's not the coil which has caused your cancer akizazi because you used to have heavy period anyway, you, you are going to have cancer akizazi anyway, but the copper coil has not given you any treatment. Hence, when you become above 40, if you're going to have a coil, we do strongly recommend you have a hormonal coil, which is called Mirena. Because the Marena, we have spoken the benefits of Marena. 
ni kwamba itakusaidia kuzuia kansa ya kizazi one of the benefit of marena which is the hormonal coin that i didn't mention inatumika vile vile kutibu kansa yani wewe kwamba umeshakuwa diagnosed una kansa ya kizazi lakini kutokana na situation zako zingine labda kufanywa operation wewe kwako itakuwa ni 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 ni, ni, hath, ni hathari ni hatari kubwa utapewa coin na itatibu kansa ya kizazi au kama una mabadiliko ambayo yamefikia stage ya mwisho kama hayakutibiwa itakuwa kansa utapewa pia coin hiyo marena coin itakutibu kansa ya kizazi kwa hivyo hizo ni vitu viwili vya kuthibitishia kwamba coin haisababishi kansa ila inakuzuia ina na pia inatibu kansa ya kizazi kitu kingine yeye daktari wa miaka sabini aliyesema kwamba uwezi kufanywa coil kwamba itakutilia usifanye usipate uzazi tena hizo sio habari za kweli kabisa alikuwa hana information probably that doctor was very behind in the knowledge or then there was no enough information about the coil um kwa hivyo haimziwi mtu kuzaza isipokuwa coil inategemea na lifestyle ya yule mama kama mama ni ana tabia hayupo katika uhusiano uliotulia tunaoita kwa kitaalamu mm. yani hana partner yake mmoja au hajaolewa ni, ni mtu ambaye maisha yake anakuwa na partner zaidi ya mmoja au anabadilisha partners yule anakuwa iko katika athari ya kupata infection kwa hivyo hawa hatuwashauri kutumia coil kwa sababu wako katika athari kubwa ya kupata infection ukipata infection ya kwenye kizazi wewe hatima yako ni kwamba kuna hatari kubwa kwamba utaweza kupata uzazi tena kwa sababu ile infection huwa inapanda paka kwenye mirija inaziba mirija inao kama inapata makovu ile mirija na kizazi vile 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 ndani vinapata kama makovu kinaweza kidandana kwa hivyo usipate uzazi kwa hivyo coil haikusababishi wewe usipate uzazi ila madhara yake kutokana na na na, na, na wako wa maisha ndio inaweza kusababisha wewe usipate uzazi kuna wakina mama wengine ambao mifuko yao ya uzazi haiko sawa sawa yani shape yake haiko kama inavyotakiwa shape yake kuna matatizo mbalimbali kuna wengine anaweza kuwa na upande mmoja tu wa ule mfuko wa uzazi uh, au anaweza kuwa mfuko wa uzazi umejijenga kama shape kama ya moyo tunaita heart shape um, au ana ukuta katikati ya uzazi hiyo umetokea tangu wakati anazaliwa hawa ndo group la kina mama tu ambao hawashauriwi kuwekewa coil kwa sababu haiwezi kukaa vizuri itamsababisha maumivu na vile vile itatoka wakati mwingine kwa hivyo au itajichomeka katika ukuta tunaita perforation kwa hivyo hawa ndo ambao hawaruhusiwi kuwekewa coil um, na vile vile kama wana infection ambayo inaendelea kwa hivyo na wale ambao tumeongelea wenye matatizo ya kwamba wana riski kubwa athari kubwa kupata infection kutokana na maisha yao Aksante Eh yeah, sasa hivi sasa hivi I mean there is more information about coils manake kama hivyo utaambiwa hii ni sampuli fulani hii ni sampuli fulani hii ni sampuli fulani lakini zamani zetu ilikuwa hakuna mambo kama hayo nyingine ilikuwa ni sampuli moja tu unaona na je siku hizi je siku hizi mwapata watu ambao wapata mimba na, na hali ya kuwa wana coil manake siku zile ilikuwa mambo mengi yatokea namna hii kwa mtu ana ni kweli auntie na siku hizi wanatokea bado watu wanapata ujauzito wakiwa na coil. Mm. Lakini hii so inakuwa sio. Naam. So it's still happening. Manake haziko nini hiyo sio 100% ama even 80% hakuna. No, nafikiri mm. sister Jessie na ameonyesha the effectivity yake. Kwa hivyo mm. inakuwa hii anayepata ujauzito akiwa na coil so kwamba coil imefail ila inakuwa ile coil imeshuka kama hali inakuta kwa haiko haiko mahali yake sio Yes correct mm. inakuwa haiko ndio ndio wakati mwingine wanapata ujauzito wakati wakiwa na coil kwa bahati mbaya inakuwa aidha kutokana na labda mfuko wake uzazi ni mkubwa au labda alikuwa na heavy bleeding ikawa ime, imeshuka kwa hivyo kuna kuna nafasi kumbuka tumesema kwamba coil inaenda kuziba pale Mm-hmm. manake mimi pia alipata hivyo mimba moja nikapata na ni, na coil nikaenda kwa daktari nikamwambia angalia mimi nasikia kama nina mimba kaniambia iwezekane <laughs> acha nikaangalie akaangalia akasema iko sawa sana nikamwambia sasa basi fanya test manake mimi najisikia kama nishabeba yeah. na tukiangalia kweli ilikuwa ni shabeba basi nikaitoa sio manake mambo ya Mungu hayaulizwi sio Yeah. Lakini, yeah it happens sometimes it happens until now hizo cases zipo tu mm. sana kwamba mtu ana coil uwezi kudinai kwamba you can't be pregnant and like watch a cure kama ilivyo 
kitu cha cha kuangalia zaidi kwa kina mama ambao wanasikiliza kama una coil you feel you are pregnant you need to be get checked straight away kwa sababu uwezekano mkubwa hiyo ujauzito pia unaweza kuwa umejitunga nje ya kifuko cha cha kizazi ambacho tunaita ectopic pregnancy ambayo mm. inatakiwa iwe igunduliwe mapema ili ufanywe matibabu mapema kabla haija bust katika uh, ndani ya tumbo ambayo inaweza kusababisha bleeding ambayo inaweza kuwa life threatening mm. yeah. asante mm. sana jazako mulahe mm. Asante. Alhamdulillah shapita mambo hayo lakini yani kwa wasichana ambao waanza kukua sasa they need more information sio yeah? sure. mafanya kazi nzuri pia kuwaelimisha maana ke madaktari si sana kukwambia yote they don't have that time naona mpaka sure. upiku na jambo alafu sasa sema ah this possible ni 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 yeah. lakini vizuri mtu kama akijua kimbele what is what she is facing alafu mwenyewe aweza kujisaidia sio very true very true shukrani aunt nani but you be surprised you be surprised how uh, the younger ones wanajua vitu vingi sana kushinda hata sisi nani clinicians anakuja anakuambia hivi 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 yani anajua from a to z of that conversation na anakuambia nataka hii mm-hmm. oh yani wana wana check in yani tena na Mr Google na kila kitu kama na Our time mobile bill kwa hakuna watauyo Google. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm.